This is a very brief video demonstration and tutorial on how to give an object health. This is something I just figured out, so there may be a way to go about this better, but without further ado, here's the object and it has health. You shoot it, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there, and it's dead. Isn't that neat? So, what we are doing is I'm actually utilizing a little bit of something from another script I made. Weirdly enough, I made this script first, which was a lot harder. Um, and I just translated that over to this in a more simplified version for just destroying an object once it receives a certain amount of damage. Now, we can't actually track how much damage an object has taken because, you know, these things aren't alive, they don't have health. Uh, but there is something else we can do, and that's have fun with math. So, what we are doing here is once the object is damaged, we are adding, or, yeah, we are adding negative 10 to its number variable. And then on the condition that its number variable reaches 0, we delete the object. Quite simple. So what we have to do first is declare a number variable. I did set the scope to object so that it's only affecting this object. We have to reference this object every time we do it. I set its initial value of health to 100. Then we add negative 10 again on negative, or on once it receives um, damage, we add negative 10 to bring it down by 10. So after 10 shots, the sucker should die. Ooh, pardon me. This is for the usual ritual of videos. I'm always gassy when it comes to these. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. That is pretty much the script. There's not much more complications to it. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hey, look at that. Sorry, I don't know why I was surprised that worked. I just, I, I didn't test the actual individual bullets. But we can do various different things, such as, you know, changing these numbers if we want different amounts of damage, etc, etc. I want to give something more health, just make the initial value bigger. If you want to do more damage in general, make this uh, lesser. Uh, we could start doing things like on instance where if we wanted to set up a condition, we could do a branch uh, where if you're dealing, uh, if you have a certain kind of weapon, add negative this amount of number, etc, etc. I won't get too much into that right now unless I make something in the future, I'll elaborate on it a bit. But I'm just going to show the simple process of adding maybe a little bit of polish to this. So I'm, it's going to be super simple. We're just going to, first we need an object. I'm just going to make this guy explode. The script itself is pretty much done. Now we're just making it fun. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. I've never used that explosion before. Because I always definitely want more explosions on this map, making me mute things more and more. So, we're going to do our usual. Which is a spawn object, delete object. Spawn. If true, spawn this object. Then delete this object. But first, just in case, we want to make sure to... And this isn't entirely necessary. This just makes it easier. If you ever want to move your objects around, you don't need to... Uh, move the explosion, for instance. You can just leave the explosion wherever it happens to be on the map. But it's always good to set its position to your original objects. I always forget it's right here. So, get this guy's position, set position, set the explosion to that position, then we are going to delete that object, and then we need to, right after that, delete the explosion, which is down here. Actually, we should probably do a quick little tidbit logic Give the explosion some time to breathe, wait for half a second. Then delete the object. Which object are we deleting? We are deleting the explosion. So now let's see how that plays out. Double checking everything. We forgot one thing. Every time you have an effect that you plan to delete, you always need to, on game start, delete that object. Always, always, always. Because it's not fun when the object just, you know, just disappears. We need to make sure that this is interesting. Make it fun. So, let's make an explosive box. Look at that! We have a box that explodes when you deal damage. Ain't that fun. Neat. But you know what? I want this box to be dangerous. So let's go ahead and dip right back into the script. This is more so me just having fun. The initial script is actually done. But I want... I want the explosion to do damage. 
Let's make it a really big, very dangerous, explosive box of death. Let's give it a radius of 30, a uh, height of 10, and since this thing is somewhat in the air, let's give it a bottom of 10, etc, etc. And now we need to add a variable. Variables. Area monitor. This dude. Get out of here. No, yes. Ba boop. And then we're going to want a on object entered area. Nice. Now we want a damage object. Nice. Which object? The object that entered the area and the amount of damage you want to do. Let's make this sucker really hurt. Ugh. Hurt me. It's what I want. Oh. Look at that. We have a very dangerous explosive box. Well, there is so, so much more we could do with that. Uh, but I do know uh, quite a few people have been asking me how to make an object, you know, be damaged or explode or die, etc, etc. But yeah, you can literally take that script, grab any effect you want, you can slap it on anything. But again, we will very briefly, let's go over the script, just to make sure there's no questions left to doubt. <clears throat> we are dealing with variables. So first off, you need to declare a variable. You need to make sure that what we are talking about exists, and the thing that exists is our number variable. Our number va variable's initial health is 100, and I named it health, name it whatever you want. I just go with health. We're setting the scope to object, so we have to reference an object with these other things if we want it to work. So the object reference is our forerunner block. We get its health. We add negative 10 on the con or not on the condition. We add negative 10 on the event that it receives damage. And then once we reach zero, we spawn our explosion, set the explosion position to the block, then we delete the block, and then we delete the explosion. Sorry, I blanked out for a second. I was making sure that my, my cables and everything were all connected correctly here. But yeah, we're all set to go. I'm looking through real quick just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm just rambling. I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to convey what I'm doing. I think we're all good. Yeah, if you guys have questions, you'll leave a comment. But it's per the usual. This is on my map, Mild Strikes Playground. I'll put the link in the description. I'll leave this block sitting right back over. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Over there, the dangerous explosive block. Nice.